Hi, so for today, we are going to continue our discussion about the 1001 solved integrals. So this will be our part 8 of solving the 1001 solved integrals. So we have number 61 to 65 for today's video. So we will be dealing now with um, uh, integrals involving exponential functions. Okay, so this uh, part of our 1001 solved integrals is all about the uh, exponential functions. So for number 61, we have the integral of e raised to 3x uh, dx. So most probably the, 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 the easiest integral to solve is the one that involves exponential. So we know that we can use u substitution here because this is not purely in terms of x. If Remember, if we need to integrate e raised to x dx, that would be simply e raised to x plus c. But since this is not equal to x, th I mean this, we have to use u substitution. So we have u equals negative 3x. Get the derivative of u. That's du. And on the other side, with respect to x, that's negative 3 dx. And we have dx here. So I could isolate dx on the right side. So when we do that, we can now simply substitute e raised to negative 3x is u. Then we have dx here. And then we substitute what is the value of dx. That's du all over negative 3. So du all over negative 3. So we, we can factor out negative 1 third integral of e raised to u du. So we don't have any problems in solving that because technically e raised to u du would be simply e raised to u plus c but take note that u equals negative 3x so we must back substitute it so we have negative with negative one third e raised to negative 3x plus c so this will be our final answer for this problem number 61 okay so for problem number 62 it's definitely dv all over e, ra e raised to v so this is also another uh, easy problem we cannot uh, use uh, integrals involving uh, or yielding to natural logarithm because there is no other term in the numerator so what we are going to do is that we are going to use the properties of exponent wherein we can get the reciprocal of uh, 1 all over uh, e raised to v into e raised to negative v so we can reciprocate this function but we need to negate it expo its exponent so again that is another uh, u substitution we let u equals negative b du equals negative dv so we have dv all only here so we have negative du equals dv substitute it so we have the integral of e raised to u equals dv equals negative du so we can factor out negative one outside of the integral sign so we have e raised to u and then du so we have negative e raised to u plus c but then we have to back substitute whatever the value of u is so we have negative e raised to negative v plus c so that will be our answer for this problem so it may seem like it's a complicated one but it's actually not And for number 63, we have a base that is not equal to e, okay? So, uh, remember that when we are dealing with these integrals, for example, we have a raised to something uh, dx. Uh, the, 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 the formula for that will be a raised to x all over ln of a plus c. So, in this case, our a is 2. And our x is negative x. So, we cannot simply substitute it or use the direct formula directly because this is not x. But rather, this is negative x. So, what we are going to do is we are going to use substitute it. Negative x. And then we have du negative dx. I only have dx here. So, negative du equals dx. So, when we do that, Okay, let us see what our integral would look like. So we have uh, integral of now 2 raised to negative x. We let that as our u. 
So we have 2 raised to u. And then we have dx. The dx equals negative du. So we have negative du in here. So we have negative integral of 2 raised to u, the du. And this is, this is still the form of a raised to x dx. It has uh, only change in the variable. Instead of x, it's u. And we can now use the formula. So we have negative, okay, negative of the integral of 2 raised to u. That would be a raised to x. Our a is 2. And in this case, our variable is u. So we have 2 raised to u all over ln of 2 plus c. But we need to back substitute whatever the value of u. We have negative x. So we have negative 2 raised to negative x all over ln of 2 plus c. So this will be our answer for this problem number 63. So that's how easy it is. You just have to remember the formula uh, in the exponential. If this is a formula, if the base okay, is not exponential, e. So for number 64, for number 64, we we have the problem, the integral of e raised to t minus e raised to negative t squared dt. So in this type of problem, we cannot uh, use u substitution directly because there is no other term rather than this e raised to t minus e raised to negative t. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, literally expand uh, whatever is inside the function. So we have the integral. We, we need to use FOIL, of course. Okay, so in, in solving this. But then I have a secret. So let's, uh, let's, let's do the long way. So we have e raised to t times e raised to t. So that would be e raised to 2t. So remember that when we multiply exponential functions with the same base we add the exponents so we have e t plus t so that would be e raised to 2t so hence we have e raised to t outer we have e raised to t and then e raised to negative t so that would be e raised to t multiplied by negative e raised to negative t okay so what happens with this uh, a problem or with this is that uh, is that we'll be having negative e raised to t plus negative t. So technically, this would be negative e uh, t minus t is 0. So we have negative 1. e raised to 0, any number raised to 0 would be negative 1. And then we have now, we have the outer, we have the inner. As you can see, this is still the same it will yield to negative e raised to negative t multiplied by e raised to t also. So, if we simplify that, the inner one, we have still negative 1. And then, for the last term, we have e raised to negative t, negative e raised to negative t multiplied by e raised to negative t. We have negative also. This is with the sign, negatives. So, we have negatives here. So what happens here is that, let me just rewrite this, negative e raised to negative t. So this would become negative or positive because negative times negative would be positive. And then we have negative t plus the negative t. So we have e raised to negative t minus t. So we have e raised to negative 2t. So that we have plus e raised to negative 2t. Okay. And then we have dt. So simplifying, we have e raised to 2t minus 1 minus 1. We have negative 2. Then we have plus e raised to negative 2t dt. So that's the expansion that we are looking at. Okay. So we can now uh, distribute the integral sign as well as the dt. So we have e raised to 2t dt minus integral of 2 dt plus integral of e raised to negative 2 dt dt. So, of course, we have to use u substitution. Here, we have 2t, derivative of u with respect to t, that's 2 dt. I, on, I only have dt, so I have to isolate dt here. d all over 2, and then we have dt. So that we can u substitute it. So, also here, we, we use u substitution. 
you have negative 2t, find the derivative of both sides. This would become negative 2 dt. I only have dt, so I have du all over negative 2 equals dt. So in the in the middle term, we don't have any problem because that's a simple integration. So substituting the u substitution, we have e raised to u. Then we have dt for the first term as du all over 2. Then minus, I can factor out 2 outside of the integral sign. This becomes integral of dt. Plus, applying u substitution here, we have e raised to u. Then we have dt, we have du all over negative 2. So, factoring out the constant, so we have 1 half e raised to u minus 2 integral of dt plus negative 1 half. This becomes negative 1 half because of the negative 1 half here. Negative 1 half. Then we have integral of e raised to u du. So, it's pretty simple. We have 1 half e raised to u minus 2t. The integral of dt is t minus 1 half e raised to u plus c. But take note that this u is not the same as u, as this u. So we have the u here as 2t here. The u here is negative 2t. So we need to back substitute it. So we have 1 half e raised to 2t minus 2t minus 1 half e raised to negative 2t plus c. So this will be our final answer. We cannot, we cannot simplify 1 half e raised to 2t minus 1 half e raised to negative 2t. Okay, because they don't have the same exponents. Okay, so that's our number 64. For number 65, we have the integral of z e raised to 4z squared. e raised to 4z squared uh, dz. So, one may think that this is integration by parts, but upon looking the given, we can only use, this can only be solved by simple u substitution. So, if we let u 4z squared, get the derivative of u, that's 8z dz. In the integrand, if I'm going to rearrange this, I have e raised to 4z squared multiplied by z dz, of which I have the z dz here. I just have to isolate that. So, we have du all over 8, and then we have z dz. So, if we integrate this, what will happen is that we have... Uh, e raised to u, we let 4z squared as our u, and then z dz would be du all over 8. So it's very simple. We can factor out 1 8 outside of the integral sign and then solve for e raised to u du. So we have e raised to u plus c, but take note that our u is 4z squared. So we have 1 all over 8, e raised to 4, z squared plus c. So this will be our final answer in getting this integral. So that's it guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. So and have fun solving integrals as we finish this 1001 solve integral. So please be with me in in finishing this 1001 solve integral. So thank you so much guys for listening. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please check out my videos about the other parts of the 1001 solve integrals. And of course, I have tutorials in different uh, mathematics subjects, so kindly check it out on my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. Again, this is Engineer Abad. See you again on the next video.